you guys may have noticed we need to use the quadratic equation a lot when we're solving our projectile motion problems because the the a b and c terms are all there in that quadratic equation so we're going to write a calculator program that will actually solve the quadratic formula for us and it uses the quadratic equation the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the home screen make sure everything's cleared and then push your program button and we want to create a new program and arrow over to new and you can name it whatever you want but quadratic would make sense to me uh, and it automatically puts us in the alpha screen so I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in Q U A D for quadratic enter now it brings us to this screen which is asking us okay what's your program want so we need to start putting in lines of code and the first line we want to put in is what information we're telling it okay, so I push the program button again and this time it brings up a different screen I'm gonna arrow over to IO for input output and I'm going to choose prompt because I want it to prompt me for information. So I choose prompt, push enter, and now I want it to prompt for the terms of the quadratic equation. Right? It's ax squared plus bx plus c, so we have to tell it what the a term is, what the b term is, and what the c term is. So I push alpha a, comma, alpha b, comma, alpha c, and then I push enter. So now when we run this program, the very first thing it's going to do is ask us what our a, b, and c values are. Okay? And it's going to store those in its memory. It's going to store those values as a, b, and c. So now, remember the quadratic says negative b plus or minus the square root of 4ac all over 2a. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get that part taken care of. So I'm going to start with the square root. Okay? So I'm just putting in math equations. Second square root b squared so I go alpha b squared minus, and we have to make sure we're careful with our parentheses here, 4 alpha a alpha c, um, parenthesis, parenthesis to close that square root. Now, that's the square root of b squared minus 4ac. I want, I'm going to use that a couple times, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to store it as a separate uh, variable. So I push the store button, and now I'm going to choose to store that in the memory called D. So I just assign that thing its own term. Then the quadratic says, okay, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So I need to do the plus or minus part, which means I actually have two equations. So I have negative B, and remember parentheses are important here, so I'm going to go parenthesis, negative B, alpha B, um, plus D, because remember that's the plus or minus part, so plus, and this is b squared minus 4ac all stored in d, so I'm going to go alpha d, I'm going to close my parenthesis, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide that by 2a, that's the rest of the quadratic, alpha a, and then that whole thing I'm going to go ahead and store in e, that's just, okay, that's one of the two answers we're going to need. So store that in E. Whoops, not sign. I forgot to push my alpha button first. So we're going to go back up, delete that. Alpha E. And then we need to do this one more time for the, for the plus part. Okay, so parenthesis, negative alpha B minus alpha D parenthesis divided by 2 alpha a and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to store that in f. Okay. So now I have two answers they're stored in E and F and I need my calculator to go ahead and display those to me so I'm going to push enter one more time and now we're going to remember we said earlier that uh, to get information we input output right I push the program button I come over here to IO and now I want it to display information so I'm going to arrow down to display and I'm going to tell it to display alpha E then I'm going to put in one more line program display alpha F push enter now I've written my formula now what it says is I'm gonna it's gonna prompt us for three pieces of information a B and C it's gonna take those pieces of information and do the quadratic formula to them and then it's gonna display the two results we're gonna get let's go ahead and make sure that this thing works so I'm gonna get out of this by pushing second quit and now when I want to run this program I push program execute quadratic 
And so let's say I have the quadratic that opens down and has been shifted up 2. Um, so that means I have negative 1 for my a term. Uh, I haven't done any stretching in the horizontal direction, so I'm going to leave that one alone. And said it's been shifted up 2 spots. So, whoops, I don't need to put the plus in there. Um, so 2 for my c term. And then when I push enter, it tells me, all right, the two values that I could have are 1.414 or negative 1.414. So this program has solved the quadratic for me. So you guys can use this when you have to solve the quadratic, because I'm interested in, in how you set up the problems and solve the problem, uh, let the calculator.